This is Meng from Design Plus Code. Today I want to show you something really cool. Basically, um, in Swift UI, one of the things that is very different is how you manage pieces of code. In this case, you know, I have a bunch of UIs. So this is the page that I'm trying to build. And I have a bunch of cards. And I have this main card right here, which is a bunch of code. And what I'd like to do is to take all of this stuff and turn it into a car that I can reuse or I can make my code simpler. So in this case, I'm going to select this, right click and go to refactor and click on extract to method. This is going to create a component and all I need to do is to set the name. So card main and then that's it. So the code itself is going to be placed at the beginning of the file right here and the main code for this UI, now that I have a bunch of components, is just this. And this is very easy to read. You have the background UI, the card back, which are these two cards here, and then you have the card main, which is the main card. Another thing that I can do is to create a component inside a new file so that it can be reused anywhere in my project. Let's take a look at this card back here, which is this one. Okay, so I'm gonna click this, jump to definition, and this is my code for that component. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to files, right click here, new file, Swift UI view, and I'm going to call that cart back, and then create. Now I have this code, and I'm gonna go back to the content view, and just cut this code and put that in my card back dot swift in between these curly braces like this. So that's it. If I click this component here from my main view, it's going to use this card back dot swift. As a new file, if I decide to reuse those components, I can just reuse them from any other file. So for example, this one is a new UI and in this new UI I want to use the card back so here I'm gonna run this first card back parentheses and voila it's reusing the card back component from a new UI I'm going to include the source files in the link below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to have more updates more content about SwiftUI and also how to design code.